One of the ways I'm trying to make a bit of a positive spin out of a, yeah, can otherwise potentially slightly rubbish situation is just setting myself a wee challenge with my daily exercise to go out and uh, explore and have a week in a mini adventure on my own doorstep. So while I might look like I'm out in the, a wild forest somewhere in the, the rural parts of Scotland, I'm actually just in Dawson Park in Glasgow. Um, there's a rubbish dump about 100 yards that way, some houses over there. Yeah, I'm not exactly in the middle of nowhere, but just trying to kind of pretend I'm out somewhere in the wilds and uh, trying to just explore and see what I've got uh, within close riding distance of my own doorstep. This is just exactly what I've been enjoying. Uh, so you can see on one side of me here I've got a wee strip of trees, a nice wee strip of woods. And on the other side I've just got houses and stuff. That's great fun, just kind of cutting through the city, finding these nice wee uh, pockets of uh, hidden treasure. It's good fun. Good riding actually as well. Now you might think it seems kind of unlikely, but uh, this is one of my favourite wee sections. This is a wee bit called the uh, the Drum Chapel Way. Um, it's a really, really brilliant wee surprise bit of a uh, track and trail on the edge of Glasgow. Not very far, nothing too uh, spectacular, but um, you know, just a few, few hundred metres up the track and all of a sudden you feel like you're a few hundred miles out of the city, it's magic. So yeah, it's good fun riding. Right. So the kind of unofficial mantra of uh, cycling off-road under lockdown is no car, no far and no nar. Basically means no car, just go anywhere you can ride on your own doorstep. No far, no big epic days out. I mean, I'm only a wee bit away from my flat just now. And no nar, everything well within your technical abilities. So here I've got some nice simple gravel track. It's nothing too technical, going to keep me out of the hospital. That's the important part. So it's all been fun blasting through the woods. Now I've got a bit of uphill to do. It's always got to be a bit of climbing, unfortunately. Uh, aye, no fun. So I'm a wee bit puffed now, I've reached the top of my climb. You can see over there that's the uh, the Jaw Reservoir, the dam. Um, and if I spin the camera all the way around here, you can hopefully see Glasgow stretching away out behind me there. So you can see it's uh, it's really not too far from the city. It's great fun this. Amazing what you can find on your own doorstep. Unfortunately, having to resort to a wee bit of hiker bike here. Pass a wee bit, uh, <laughs> wee bit narrow and a wee bit heathery, so stick the bike in the shoulder and trek it along and uh, I maybe make quicker and safer progress that way. <laughs> Oh, 
Phew. So I uh, just had to do a wee hasty double back in myself there because uh, <laughs> because this happened. I uh, just stopped for a wee breather up the way and uh, I realised I didn't have my phone in my pocket anymore so I had to uh, come back and uh, thankfully we've been reunited. So again, talking about mysterious hidden gems, uh, one of the things I'd always kind of fancied checking out while I was up here, it's a chambered cairn. Might not seem that exciting to be honest, but um, yeah, my pal's a bit of a pal's a bit of a history enthusiast, so he wouldn't uh, he wouldn't forgive me if I didn't uh, come by for a wee look while I was up here. So there you go, Dunk. That one's for you. So I'm now here up at Kilmanan Reservoir. There's a whole bunch of nice wee reservoirs up here. Hundreds of them all linking together. Uh, I've got all this lovely, beautiful uh, forestry gravel trail to get me through. So I'm absolutely flying along. I do get the occasional questions about the bike. This is a thing called a gravel bike, basically kind of halfway between a road bike and a mountain bike or uh, a cyclocross bike with slightly more relaxed geometry depending on how you think about it Yeah, I've got a steel frame uh, I've got drop handlebars, kind of like a road bike uh, carbon fork, uh, I've got disc brakes there slightly gnarly tyre but nothing too severe single chain ring on the front for uh, low maintenance and simplicity and I've got a really wide ranging 11 speed cassette at the back there to get me up the hills nice and simple and of course, no bike would be complete without an obnoxiously colourful big bright saddle. Can he beat it? I'm in all these beautiful Bluebell Woods, lovely spring-like conditions. Um, just uh, on the West Island Way now, it's the West Island Way down there. Head back down to Mulcahy and then back into Glasgow, dead easy. <laughs> All right, cheers, thank you. So that's my ride for the day just about done. Uh, back into Mary Hill here again. Almost back where I started. One quick nip back through Dawson Park and that'll be my ride done for the day. Magic, yeah, so... Hi, plenty of good trails covered and really not too far from the city. I say, it's just amazing what you can find. You just uh, get a wee bit creative, start looking at the maps, go exploring and uh, see what you can find, you'll be amazed. <laughs> 